All right, back in algebra, chapter 5, section 4, solving special systems of equations. All right, so here we have a system of equations. And this one's are both of them are already solved for y, so that lends itself to substitution. So I can take this and just plug that in for y up here. So then I'd have 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 5. Now, if I solve that, if I subtract 2x from each side, minus 2x, right, because I want to eliminate it on one side, it eliminates on the other side 2, and I get 1 is equal to negative 5. Well, that's not true, right? So that's no solution. What that means is that these two will never cross. There is no coordinate that these two have in common. And if you look at them, even before we started solving this, these are in slope-intercept form. What you notice here, 2x and 2x, the slopes are the same. What that means are, is these lines are parallel. This one goes up to over 1, but the, their intercepts are different. So, something like this, right? They're never going to cross, so there's no solution. All right, there, well, here's the, the exact graphs. Okay, solving this right here, what I would do, right, I want opposites, so I'm going to multiply this by negative 2, and then I get 4x plus negative 2, which we can change to minus 2, is equal to negative 6. And then I'm going to align that underneath, lining up the variable terms, plus 2y is equal to 6. This cancels out, and this cancels out, leaving me with 0. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So six equal, 0 equals 0, that's true, but I still don't know what x and y are. This is correct, which means if I was to change this, notice I could change these signs up here, make that negative, positive, positive, and they're the same thing. These two are the same line, okay? Both of the equations, that's just written differently, right? If I multiply this entire equation by 2, I get this one. So it's the same line, so there are infinitely many solutions. Or, so infinite solutions for this one. So we have the options of one solution, no solutions if the lines are parallel, and infinitely many solutions if the lines are the same. Okay, and then finally, here's an example. We have a perimeter of this trapezoidal piece of land, which is 48 kilometers, and the perimeter of this is 144 kilometers. We want to write and solve a system of linear equations to find the values of x and y. Okay, well, the perimeter is all the sides added up, and it equals 48 kilometers. This one, all sides added up, equals 144. Okay, simplify, and I get this expression. 6x plus 12y is 48, and 18x plus 36y is 144. Then I can set that up. If I multiply this by negative 3, I get opposite coefficients, and then I can cancel out. Okay, well, what happens here if I cancel these out? Right, this cancels out, this cancels out, this is 0, so I get 0 equals 0, which means, again, these two equations are the same line. That means I can plug in any of the coordinates on this line, like 2 for x and 3 for y, or 4 for x and 2 for y, into this, and it will always be true. Every point on this line is going to be true for both of these equations. And there you have it, solving special systems of equations.